guys, I'm Zora and welcome back to In The Midnight Kitchen. Today we're going to be making shakshuka with eggs on cocotte, which is a typically Parisian dish. You guys have been asking me a lot for savory dishes and I think it's because with savory it's an everyday thing. Baking is a little bit more of a chemistry as someone told me once. So I'm going to be making eggs on cocotte and I'm going to do it with a bit of a twist. So it's going to have a shakshuka base. So shakshuka is essentially a tomato puree onion sauteed base and you sort of put that in a pot and then let that simmer into like a curry sauce and then after that you crack a few eggs in, let it cook and then that's your breakfast. So with this today I'm using these two ramekins to essentially put the shakshuka base at the bottom then have a little layer of bread that just goes on top of it to give it a bit of a start so it's a bit more filling and then crack an egg on top and then a little bit of cheese and put it in the oven and that's essentially going to be your entire breakfast. So the first thing we're going to start off with is some spinach. I just got some fresh spinach today so it doesn't have to be part of it. You can kind of put anything into a shakshuka. So I'm essentially just going to chop these up very very fine because it has to go into a bit of a tomato based sauce. So this is the first thing we're going to do and then we're just going to go step by step from there. So try and chop it as fine as you can. I don't need to use all of it because I'm just making it for these two little ramekins, so I don't need that much. But I also have a slight iron deficiency, so having spinach in every other meal isn't the worst thing. So that is all I'm going to make just for now. Right, next up we are going to... Actually, I'm not using an onion first. I'm going to do the mushrooms. So I'm going to cut these mushrooms up and I wash them, but as you can see, they're still very, very dirty. So in order to clean them, oh, here's my red towel. In order to clean them, you don't actually have to wash them every time. You can kind of just wipe it and it wipes off most of it because obviously mushrooms retain a lot of water. So if you're going to be washing it with water, it takes it a lot longer to dry out in your pan. So rather use a roller towel and then it takes off all the excess gunk that was on it before. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these guys up finely as well and then I'm going to add that to my spinach sautéed tomato base. So, And lastly we're going to do an onion. I haven't really found a perfect way to kind of cut an onion where I don't cry so I'm just warning you that my makeup is probably going to run and it may not be very pretty. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard this but they say it's not really healthy to keep an onion for more than I think 48 hours so if you can avoid that maybe just try to. I'm just gonna slice them up and then I'm going to cut them even finer because I don't like onion chunks in my meal I just it, it's very very acidic to bite into. Okay so now I'm just gonna add my I already chopped this in advance just because I didn't really I just wanted to prep it so this is my butter chili and garlic. So I'm just going to add that with the onions, let that brown a little bit and then I'm going to add all my extra fillings and the tomato base which I'll definitely explain to you. So here I've just got butter, chilies and garlic. So I'm going to saute this with my onions that I just chopped up. So the second the butter is essentially melted I can get started. Right. So now I'm going to add my onions. So just a little bit crispy and golden and then we're good to go. I'm going to put off the heat. I'm going to add my diced tomatoes and my tomato puree and then let that simmer just for a little bit. So you don't need to add all of it obviously. That's all I'm going to use which is just half a turn like I said. And then I'm going to use the tomato puree as well. This is just one little ice block's worth. I usually just freeze mine um, after I buy it from the store. So it's really quick to just put in a pot of curry or anything that I'm cooking. So I don't have to continuously keep buying them, which I just find to get a little bit annoying. So I'll buy a lot and then I'll just freeze it and then I can use it whenever. So this is just going to simmer until it gets to a nice thick consistency. Now I can add the rest of my toppings or rather part of my base that's going to go into the ramekin. 
So guys, now we're doing the most fun part of this entire exercise. I am now going to lay out my ramekins to make my shakshuka eggs concoct. So I am just going to, you don't have to get like a perfect circle, so I'm just going to make two little squares. Um, and then the shakshuka will essentially just come through it. So this is just to put at the bottom, like I said, to be a little bit of a starchy texture to make it a little bit more filling. Otherwise, it's kind of just, I don't think it's filling enough. I think I would end up eating three of them. So I just sort of do that. This is just an olive ciabatta loaf, but you can use any kind of bread that you like. And then this is just going to go on the base. So it's nice and cushy bread. So the shakshuka is actually going to absorb it quite a lot, which means it's essentially just going to be nice and soggy throughout. Okay, so that is now done. You can put that away. And now we're just going to put the shakshuka on top and then the eggs and then the cheese and then we're good to go. So here we've got our shakshuka. It's actually completely stiff, which is great. I didn't really want it to be runny at all. Um, now I'm just going to layer it up. So like you saw, obviously there's just spinach, mushrooms, and a tomato base in it. And now we are just going to crack our eggs. I got really great uh, free range eggs. Doesn't really matter what you want. So I'm just gonna crack them straight on top of the shakshuka with no, no whisking in advance, none of that. We're just gonna crack it straight. So essentially it'll engulf the entire ramekin, which is absolutely beautiful. If you're not used to cracking eggs and you think that you might get a little, you know, shell in it, just do it outside and then put it in. Okay, and then I'm just going to sprinkle this with a little bit of cheese around. I don't want to really ruin the yolk because it looks so perfect. Now we are going to put these into this tray and fill the tray with a little bit of water. Not too much, just enough so the bases are full. Well, fold right up to the top. So we're gonna just let this bake for about 15 minutes. And I like my eggs runny, so that's not gonna take too long. But this is how they look. That is amazing. So that's how you make an eggs on cocotte shakshuka style. And I hope you really had fun watching my channel and I'm going to be putting the recipe up on my blog right after this. So comment and like and share and let me know what you think. Thank you.